Hello friends, you must all have experienced sitting in a merry-go-round. Well, it's a fabulous experience, making you feel all dizzy. It is because of the circular motion. Uniform circular motion is one of the most misunderstood concepts in physics. Let's understand what it is. Circular motion happens when a particle traces a circular path. Now, what is strange about this is that velocity keeps changing even when the speed remains the same. This is because the velocity has magnitude and direction both. Even while the magnitude remains the same, the direction of the particle keeps changing. In fact, it is always perpendicular to its path. Since the velocity keeps changing continuously, it is an accelerated motion. Now, the acceleration of the circular motion is directed towards the center of the circle, even when the speed remains the same. How does this happen? Let's understand this using an example. Here we can see two people standing next to each other. One person is holding the rope and the other end of the rope is being tied to the waist of another person. Both are running at a speed of 10 km per hour. Now, if you touch the rope, you will see that the rope is slack. Now, one of them stops and the other person still keeps moving. Now, the moving person wants to move in a straight line, but he is unable to go in that direction. He is forced to take turns to ensure that the length of the rope remains constant. This way, at every point, the person wants to move in the straight line, but keeps taking turns. This is circular motion. The person holding the rope at the other end is pulling the rope. Hence, if you touch the rope now, you will feel that it is tight. Hence, the person is applying force to the rope towards him. This is the force that makes the other person move in circles. Now, if you happen to cut the rope, then the moving person will go forward instead of going in circles. The force applied by the person standing at the centre is called centripetal force, which literally means centre-seeking force. Now, this is the force that makes every object move in circles. Now, since there is force, there has to be an acceleration according to Newton's second law of motion. And the direction of acceleration will be in the direction of force. So, the direction of acceleration will be towards the center of the circle and this is called as the centripetal acceleration. The earth attracts the moon and the earth is attracted towards the sun. Yet, moon never collides with earth or earth never plunges inside the sun. This is because the centripetal force is provided by the gravitational force of attraction. Hence, we are safe. For more such fantastic videos, follow Top Scholars.